What is the most important thing that you should be doing this Thanksgiving? We have to think about Thanksgiving as a time to celebrate family, and it certainly is. We love eating turkey. We love eating pies. We love watching a big parade, maybe playing some football, but just hanging out and being with our families. There's a lot more, though, that we can get out of this holiday. It's a big holiday and big leads into the shopping season for Christmas. And there's a lot um, that we build into this holiday as far as family traditions and cultural traditions. In 2004, the United States Surgeon General designated Thanksgiving as National Family Health History Day. Now, what does that mean and why does it matter to you? Let's break it down. Family health history is the uh, collection of information about our individual and family health. Uh, it is an opportunity for us to better understand what things that lead to our health and how that can affect our future and the future of our family and our children. Um, this holiday was designated on top of Thanksgiving as an opportunity for families to get together and talk about their inherited diseases and uh, what can be done to prevent them. Um, there's a lot of con health conditions um, for which there is a genetic component that's passed down from parent to child across generations. Uh, and if one person in the family has that particular health condition, there is a higher likelihood that someone else in that family will as well. This is true for lots of different types of cancers, for heart disease, for diabetes, and things like that, So, and so many other diseases as well. Why is it important to talk about these things? Because there is this inherited component, um, it is often challenging to receive the care that we need. Um, the, the more that we know, the more that we can be prepared to act on and to do something about our own health. And that is why this designation of a holiday on top of Thanksgiving was given by the, the Surgeon General of the United States as an opportunity to encourage families to talk about their health conditions and their health experiences. Now, this might seem a little daunting. I totally get it. Um, it's a little hard to say, hey, do you have cancer? Should I be worried about having heart disease? Things like that. And these conversations can feel a little intimidating and, and often personal. But really, as families, we share a lot of the similar DNA. Uh, we have a lot in common, um, not only in our DNA, but also in the environment that we live in. We oftentimes eat the same types of foods. We um, live in the same types of locations and things like that. By talking about them, even though it might be a little awkward at first, we can really better understand ourselves and the health conditions that we may experience in our lives. And it will will also empower us to do something about them, to take that information to our doctors and say, hey, I just learned that my family members have XYZ health conditions? Should I be concerned? Is there any things that I should do about that? Screening tests and so forth. There's a lot oftentimes that can be done, but we just need to know about it first. So here are some very simple ways of breaking that ice, getting started. Number one, start talking about physical traits. What is your eye color? What is your hair color? Oftentimes these things are fun and, and simple and very visible and easy for people to understand and relate to. You could talk about your birth experiences. Recently over the summer, I was gathering with my family and, and had an opportunity to talk to my mom about when I was born. And I learned some things that I didn't know before. And I've been, I thought I knew a lot about my birth experience, but um, many years later, I still have things I learned as well. We can learn about and ask about where people lived, their environment, their occupation, um, any um, toxic exposures that they had, maybe um, while working or with hobbies or things like that. And then we can just talk about 
the disease conditions that are common in our family. And oftentimes those discussions will be fruitful and, and help provide better understanding of what runs in, in the, our families so we can be more empowered to do something about them. Now, you collected all this information, you talked about it, but what do you do with it? Now, it's often a great idea to write it down because if you're like me, you're going to struggle to remember what you talked about and all the details and which great aunt had which condition and so forth, things like that. So to help you with that, I have created two worksheets that I think will help you. And I'm giving to you that giving them to you for free. The first one is um, the individual health ha uh, health history profile. And this this contains personal information, um, but information about physical traits, um, diet and li uh, lifestyle um, factors, female reproductive history, disease conditions that you're familiar with, and other things like that. Um, it's an opportunity for you to easily capture on one page, double-sided, all the information, at least the basic information, that you would want to know about your in, your family member, whether it be an an uh, ancestor who is deceased, or maybe a living relative, or maybe even yourself. It's a great place to start with capturing your own uh, personal health history as well. If you're interested in looking at trends across families, um, I put together a family health history group sheet. Oftentimes we look at uh, health hist uh, uh, pedigree charts and group sheets, but there isn't a great avenue for creating, for capturing health information, especially as it, when it runs in a family. I was trying to do this recently when with my great, great, great grandfather and his family. He died of a heart attack um, after working in the fields one day as a farmer. His daughter, my great, great grandmother, also died of a heart attack in a similar story. Um, and so I was really curious, where, what is the trends? What did people die from in this family? And as I took a regular group sheet, not quite like this, um, I realized that there are many people in the family that died from heart diseases, um, from heart attacks, from strokes, from things like that. I noted it the best I could on the group sheet that I had, but I really needed something like this. So this is why I created this document to help me, but also to help you capture all that information in one place. Now I'm giving it to you for free. I'm not selling anything. I am a medical student right now with a love and passion for helping other people um, better understand their health information so that you can better act on it, so you can better understand your personal health history and your family health history. All you need to do to get it is to go to my inherited, the, my inherited wellness newsletter and sign up for free, and it will be sent to you by email in the welcome email. You can go there at inheritedwellness.substack.com. The link will be in this description below. I look forward to hearing about your journeys. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and that you can not only be filled with food and family and fun and maybe some football, but also some that you can learn about your family health history and how it can affect your life and hopefully help shape it for the better. Have a good day.